MIDI volume compression. Suppose your MIDI instrument, say a piano VST, has 16 layers. When you input a note at velocity 1, you'll hear a very quiet PP note. When you input the same note at velocity 127, you'll hear a very different sound, both louder FFF and of course with a different timbre or tone, as well. Because the instrument VST has 16 layers, and let's assume that these layers approximate different levels of force applied to the keys of real piano. Here's the issue, how do you keep the same velocity range 1 to 127, but reduce the range of volume within which this velocity range operates? Reducing the volume CC7 doesn't do it, because that just makes all velocities quieter. What I'm trying to do is, for example, to keep velocity 1 the same, but as we move up the velocity layers, to end up with a quieter velocity at 127. You get all the same changes in timbre that velocity layers provide, but now with a narrow range of loudness or volume. You can weight velocities differently using a velocity curve. The curve is a function that alters the incoming velocity values. For a compression effect you want to weight the low velocities close to 1, multiply them by 1, leave them unaltered, and as you go up in velocity values the weighting decreases, a weighting of around 0.8 for values around 50 velocity, and a weighting of around 0.5 for values around 120 velocity, to give one example. Depending on the weighting, the function, the curve, you can have a gate, expander, compressor, or limiter effect. Many keyboards have velocity curve functionality natively. Ableton Live has a velocity MIDI effect that has this purpose, other DAWs must have similar tools, so you have some options on where to apply the curve.